when the camera's rolling, the heart pounds. It's thrilling to me. They're gonna have their plays. Like, you play against a guy like Josh Allen, you know, talk about his talent, uh, the momentum he's playing with, his receivers, Diggs, uh, Cole Beasley. These guys, I mean, they're gonna get a couple plays here and there. But what's your mentality going into this game, knowing Josh Allen, he's a big guy, he doesn't go down easy. He has shown he, he might fumble the ball a little bit now in the pocket. Like, are you guys making an emphasis on swatting at the rock? Or what's the mentality going in against a quarterback like Josh We're Allen? Just making real hot. We're making an emphasis of, of making sure that we tackle him. Yeah. Just keep, you know I mean? Don't let him break tackles. And, you know, don't, if you get your hands on him, keep him wrapped up. You know what I mean? Don't, don't just, don't try to sling him down on the ground. Cause that's when he gets out. People try to grab him and sling him down. He stays on his feet. He yeah. ducks out of a, I mean, he's a great athlete. I'm, you know, once he gets, once he gets rolling, you know, he'll, he'll try to run people over. So you have to, you have to tackle him like a running back. And, uh, you know, I, I think we, we, we had a game with, similar to like a similar style offense against new england you know and that was another game we didn't have our whole squad you know the similar kind of quarterback that uses legs a lot and you know i think that as long as we can contain the quarterback and don't let him extend the plays uh mm -hmm. you know and play great coverage and then you know that's it's part of their run game their quarterback is a huge part of their run game so that's you know we got to stop the run and that includes yeah. the quarterback getting out of the pocket and taking off you know getting those fr you know third and ten and he goes and gets a first down like that that kind of stuff is just demoralizing. So you have to limit those. No doubt. That makes total sense. And talking about a quarterback that can run, what's up with Lamar Jackson? How fun is it <laughs> watching him from the sideline? I mean, are you like, you know, you're looking at your plays on defense, you know, you're, you're going through the, the uh, you know, the surface and going through your, your gaps and, hey, we ran this, they ran this play, blah, blah. But how many times do you catch yourself just watching the big screen and watching Lamar run down the field? Is he amazing? I'm always what? watching him. I'm always watching him because it, it it really is that you can have the perfect play on defense, the perfect yeah. play, and it executed perfectly, and he will go and take it to the house on. He'll take it straight to the crib. He'll score on you. It, you'll have him sacked and think, oh, it's a sack, third and, third and eight, it's a sack, and have him wrapped up, and he'll get out of there, and he'll just take <laughs> off and go 80 yards on you. I mean, he's just you, a, he's the X factor, man. He's the ultimate no X doubt. factor. No doubt. Have you seen what kind of maturation have you seen just in this one year that you've been there? But, you know, all the all the rhetoric going into that game was Lamar can't win the playoff game. Lamar can't do this. He can't play big in a big game. Has anything changed this week? Is he walking around a little different? Or he's the same old guy. And, and what kind of leadership style does he have? That's a great thing about Lamar is he's just he's the same guy every day. Every single day he's the same guy and he just wants to win. He doesn't care about anything else but winning. He will do whatever he has to do to win. And that's, that's why I got so much respect for him. And he's just so young, man. He's 23 years old. He's just young. Yeah. He's just a kid. That's, that's I mean, that's well. just a young kid. No doubt. No doubt. What about uh, your secondary? I know they're going to be tested this week. Jimmy Smith, Marcus Peters, Humphreys, those guys. Uh, what's your communication like in the back end? Um, and, I mean, are you just kind of giving those guys a wink, like, hey, fellas, we're going to do our job up front, you cover your ass off. Like, what, what, what are they talking about this week to try and, you know, keep the clamps on guys like Stephon Diggs? And I'm not going to give any, any away any yeah, uh, game plan no. stuff. But, game but these, guys, these guys are professionals, man, and they're, they're, we got pro bowlers back there, Hall of, Fame, Hall of Fame potential players. So, you know, I think that these guys – I think that they're going to be ready. I know they're going to be ready. I don't. There's no question in my mind that they're going to be ready. Uh, you know, we, that's a great part about this this whole team is everybody shows up every day ready to go. And you know, there's no you don't have to question. You can trust the guy beside you, and that's it. Goes from the whole offense to the special teams to the whole defense. For, you know, every everybody's backup. Everybody is trusted on this team. And uh, you know, it's very, You know, you've been part of teams that you can't really trust the guy beside you. You don't know if he's going to be that same guy every day. And that's just the, the reality of it. So on a championship team, you need everybody to be on the same page and everybody has to be able to trust each other. I trust those guys. They trust me and they trust us up front. And that's the thing, man. Like they're going to make a play. It's okay. Let's go to the next one. <laughs>